Where's the moon? Where? I can't see. There's a cup in the way. It's being eclipsed by a cup. There we go. Here's moon. Here's the moon. I thought it was the cow that jumped over the moon. Well, uh, that's a different nursery rhyme, but it's being at this it's Easter time again. We're going to talk about the hare's moon, or really, why? What does the hare have to do with the moon? Or the hare on the moon? Oh, the moon's using minoxidil now? <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Ah! They always say, uh, you know, subscribe, uh, get a prescription for it, but okay, here we are. <laughs> is it time to move the camera? Yes, I guess it Thank is. Thank La, 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 la. La, la, la. Mm. <laughs> Little boy rabbit and the man on the moon. Um, okay, can you, um, wait. Now, now if you can just pan right a little bit. A little less than, a, a little less than a little bit. <laughs> well, okay, there's our basket, okay. Okay, <laughs> hi, every, I'm slouching again today. I'm always slouching. <laughs> hi, Improve everybody. your posture! Uh, yeah, it's a posture period, uh-huh. There are lots of impressionable young children out there. Yeah, uh, I guess, yeah, don't be a slouch. On uh, your couch. In your couch. Hi, everybody. Rappity Rabbit here. Welcome to the show. Today is April 13th, 1992. It's Holy Monday. And <laughs> that means Easter is coming up this Sunday. That's the big year for us bunny rabbits here in New York and all over across the USA and all around the world. That's the year. That's the day that we all... Make our hey, look at annual delivery. Huh? Look at that date. March. Um, hello. It's. Uh, you're no longer the March Hare. I'm not the March Hare. No. But I'm going to march over there on the Avenue, Fifth Avenue. I can't wait. Yes. So, anyway, Cuppy, you know it's Easter time again, right? Isn't it? Really? Yes, it's Easter time. But do you remember last it's November? Been a year already? Yes. But right, you, how time flies when you're just, like, sort of getting holes in your mouth. Yes, but do you remember last November when I had T.H.E. Fox here as a guest? Uh, some girl called up and asked me when Easter was. No. Oh, that's right, you weren't here. That's right. <laughs> Our director remembers that one, though, I'm pretty sure. Well, anyway, uh, when T.H.E. Fox was here back in November, some girl called up and asked when Easter was, and I couldn't answer her right away because I didn't know. I don't remember that. Do you know now? See, everybody here has such short memories all of a sudden. Yes, anyway, I could not answer her right away. And do you know why? It's not always an easy question to answer. For example, like, Cuppy, if I ask you what date Christmas is on, could you tell me? Without hesitation. Greek Orthodox or regular? Uh, regular Roman Catholic. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I thought I said without hesitation. I'm Jewish. No, uh, it's on December 25th. Right. Easter, I mean, sorry, Christmas is on December 25th. It's always on December 25th. Really? Yes. Oh. But the trouble with Easter is, if you want to call it that, is that Easter never falls on the same date every year. Really? Easter uh, falls on different days of the year? Well, different days between the end of March and the middle of April. Okay. Yes, you know, it's very confusing, and, uh, I'm, and on today's show, I want to straighten out that confusion once and for all. Why does Easter have, why does Easter float with the years? Sort of like flowing with the tides. So Actually, it doesn't float with the tides, it floats with the moon. That's what Easter, that's what Easter really does. It floats with the moon. It floats? It floats, yeah. I thought you just said it falls. Moon. If it falls, how can it float? I mean, if it floats, I mean, how can it fall? Well. If it's floating, it shouldn't fall. It it doesn't fall well. Oh, you mean it falls on? It? Yeah, that's. A good and when point. does fall fall? Uh, usually around September twentieth. Oh. See, at least at least fall. It's easier to track down the first day of spring and the first day of fall than it is to track down when Easter is. But here I'm here I'm here I'm here to help settle that so all you kids can always figure out when Easter is every year, right? So let's see now if you can uh, if you want to zoom in onto this little if you want to zoom into the graphics or the graphic. Like, yes. The oh, this one back the here. Hair, back to the hair's moon. We're so you want me to zoom in on it? Yes. Okay. Mm. I'm sorry, it's taking a long time to zoom. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not getting so I close. I mean the camera. Oh, sorry. The, the Ikigami, the JVC, the electronic the sharp. hardware. The uh, sharp. Uh, wrong way. Uh, someone reversed the button. Yes, why is that? <laughs> I had that problem too. Anyway, so this is a, this is a little graphic. <laughs> it's a little pictogram here of, well, of what I call the hare's moon, right? So, um, here's what happened. You see, the... Uh, the Here's Johnny. Yes, well, the reason for the Easter having to uh, do with the moon, that really goes back to, um, you know, pre-Christian, 
that's before Jesus Christ, pre-Christian superstition and belief. Did you know that rabbits are considered a symbol of the springtime? Well, it's because they spring around! Right, they're also a symbol of something else around this time of year, but I'd rather not get into that for a kid's show. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, but, it, so, but suffice it to say that rabbits, rabbits um, are sort of like a symbol of the springtime. Yeah. Spring, boy. Yeah, yes, right. And also, you know, and also as a result, ancient Egyptians. You know, ancient Egypt. Yeah. They built the pyramids and all that stuff. Yeah, they, they're on Fifth Avenue now. The Egypt? Egypt? <laughs> well, ancient. Oh, you mean well, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. That's on Fifth Avenue. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. Yes, but anyway, the ancient Egyptians uh, came to know rabbits as a symbol of the moon, also. Uh huh. And a lot of these ancient cultures and religions and superstitions and whatever they they always they always celebrated um, the coming of spring. You know, it was always a big thing with uh, these cultures, celebrating the coming of spring, just like with uh, a rabbit. Well, what happened was because because um, a, a rabbit became a symbol or were thought of to be a symbol of the spring, and then also the um, not only was spring marked by the passage of the. Um, by the sun coming back up above the horizon, it also had to do with the first full moon. You know, oh. the first moon, the first full moon began became a very important marker in the arrival of spring. So therefore, rabbits, moon, spring, they all they all got lumped together somehow, right? That's right. Sounds right to me. Yes, it does. So here, in fact, let me let me uh uh here, let me let me re let me read you something about. Uh, oh boy, he's gonna read. Yeah, So so go down to the. Go down to that poem about, uh, ooh, I lost the page. Oh, it, it's, it's, it's buckling. Oh, I gotta fix it. Uh, oh, there we go. It's buckling. It's buck one? It's the one on the... Moon myth? The, yeah, the moon myth. Myth. Moon myth. The moon myth. Myth. Yeah. Okay, uh, there it is. Moon myth. Myth, 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 myth. Yes. Oh, it's tilted. Oh, well. All right. Anyway, um, writer Philip Stewart Robinson uh, wrote about, uh, the moon myths with us rabbits, and he writes that, the mythical hare is undoubtedly the moon, and the widespread connection of the animal with the luminary, meaning the moon, moon. Yeah, gives the myth something of a popular acceptation. That should say acceptance, I'm pretty sure it should say acceptance. Uh, thus, the Chinese represent the moon figure, Hoot Ho? Is that Jet Bo! Jet it's not Spanish, it's, it's not Spanish! Jet Bo! Oh, okay, I'm sorry, Cuppy knows more about that. Cuppy knows more about the Chinese. I was doing ventriloquism! Yes. Okay. The just the Chinese represent the moon figure Jet Bo with a hair at her feet and symbolize Luna <laughs> by a rabbit pounding in a mortar. Pounding in a mortar. Hmm. Yeah, is pounding. That, is that a military mortar, firearm mortar, or the? No, no, it's mortar? a mortar. Okay, in a mortar. Okay. Um, in Vedic myth, the that's India. Oh, I see. Vedic. Yes. Okay. Indian. No, Vedic is Indian. You mean boop, boop. I know something sometimes. You mean East Indian, right? Yes. East Indian. Yes. Indian as in South Asia. As in curry sauce. The subcontinent. Yeah. Yes, Indo-Pak. Right. Yes. In Vedic myth, the leaping one is the moon, and the spots on the face of it are hairs by the shore of the moon lake. Ooh. You know what that means? That means they don't believe there's a man on the moon. They believe there's a hair on the moon. Oh, oh. Did you ever think of that? Someone get the lint duster. There's a hair on the moon, right? And, and even the Japanese... Yeah, and even the Japanese somehow uh, uh, link the rabbit with the moon. If we look at our other poem on the left, it's why rabbits jump. It's a, this is an old Japanese nursery rhyme. Why are you rabbits jumping so? Now please tell why, tell why. We jump to see the big round moon up in the sky. The sky. Wow, all these connective dots. Yes, and the moon. So we rabbits are sort of like racing with the moon, you might say. So, how did rabbit? So then, how did how did Easter get into the picture? Well, as you know, after, um, Easter is for, the, for in, in the Christian world. Easter is celebrates the time when Jesus Christ rose from the dead after um, being crucified on Good Friday, which was supposedly during a full early. moon, right? Uh, no, that's not the reason why. But the reason why it got lumped together was kind of like more by act was sort of like more of. Um, Acquiescence, you might say. You know, I'll give you an example. Did you know that, uh, you know... Are you looking at me? Yes. Oh, sorry. Am I? I walked away. You walked away. Well, anyway, for example, I'll give you an example. I mean, you know, uh, we celebrate Christmas on December 25th. Always, right? Always. Right. But we don't know that Christ was born on December 25th. We don't? We don't. Okay. Even the Bible doesn't say so. Oh, really? Right. But you know why we celebrate Christmas on December 25th? Are you going to tell me? Yes. Well, then you see, please do. Yeah. Well, it has to do with the fact that um, 
uh, you know, back then in the, again, going back to pre-Christian times, the Winter. Romans, they all had their big Winter Time celebration. Uh, and, uh, you know, that happened to be the 25th. Well, around that time, Thank you. They, 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 they called it Saturnius or something like that. So anyway, when Saturnalia, yeah, right. So when, uh, when Rome adopted Christianity, Thank they decided you. to turn that celebration into the birth of Christ, which is December 25th. They did so. So what happened was the, um, Christian fathers, uh, at, at the council of Nicaea in the year 325, they kind of, they sort of like did a similar number with, with Easter. Oh. Yeah. So it came. It was it was convenient then. It was convenient then, uh, that's and good. it was convenient then. But it's not really convenient now for us, don't you think? That's why we're always so confused about when Easter is. Because they used a different calendar, right? Uh, I think they did. They, did. they used a lunar calendar. Right. So what happened was. Thank you. They fixed. They fixed the celebration of Easter tied to the moon. So that's why to this very day we celebrate Easter as the first Sunday after the first full moon after the first day of spring. Woohoo! Yes, that's how it happened. And now, in fact, to the, the, that's, that's why we have the sign here. That's why I wrote on the bottom here, Hare's Moon, because Hare's moon. The, first, the first day of... The, fir the first full moon in springtime is called the Hare's Moon. See? Oh, well, that's amazing. Yes. It's what are you doing? Give me back my mic. I didn't know Turn it down mic. if it's oh it's 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 too loud. I it's get too it. loud. Cover your eyes. I'm making too loud. up too much noise. Yeah. So so wait a minute. So if it's the hare's moon. Yes. And rabbits are associated with a full moon. Yes. Doesn't that make you a full head of hair? <laughs> no. No. Better. What makes you a lunatic? <laughs> Lunar tick. Uh, Are you trying to bug me with that one? Yes. Yes. Oh. Well, anyway, copy, copy, copy. You yeah. know, so it's it's very confusing. To fi it's it's very con it's, it's often confusing to figure out when Easter is from one year to the next. But listen, do the with modern technology nowadays, it's no big deal. Oh, out so what Easter do you is. use? Well, a blender. Well, we can use a computer. I oh, use, well, that's, that's right. nifty. I use my Commodore computer to uh, help calculate when Easter will be. So finally, a use for a computer. Yes. Well, so listen, let's look. Let's look at a little computer tape which I have made up here, which, uh -oh, uh, dem this is which demonstrates how we can calculate when Easter comes every year. Uh oh, this should be very educational. Yes, it should be. Okay, I'm waiting. Tape, computer. Rollum! Get off the phone! Okay, here we are looking at my Commodore 64 computer, and I just inserted a disk in the disk drive here, and I'm going to load the program on that disk, which is called, appropriately enough, Easter. Here it is. I'm loading the program, and it's all ready. Now, um, as we said earlier on the show, uh, the the way that Easter is is figured out for each year is that it always falls on the first Sunday after the first full moon after the first day of spring. Because, you know, somehow Easter got tied up with the phases of the moon, and that's why it moves around back and forth between March and April, unlike a holiday like Christmas, which shows always on December 25th. So, rather than uh, going up through all these astronomy books and figuring out what phase the moon is in for every single year. Um, I found this computer program which calculates all that for you using something called an ecclesiastical method. Well, I'm not sure what it means, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with astronomy. Anyway, in fact, let's take a look at the program and there it is. It just asks you for the year and then it tells you what date uh, Easter falls on for that year. So okay, here, I'm going to clear the screen now. And I'm going to run the program, and there, what year? Well, um, this year it's 1992, so let's see, 1992, and there it is. Easter falls on April 19th, 1992. Of course, you knew that, but just to go to show you that this program is on the level, let's run it again, and let's give it last year, 1991, 1991, and Easter was on March 31st the last day of March for 1991. And of course, I can go on and on, so I can go, um, uh, let's go, let's see, if you want to know what year, what, what date Easter will be next year, it'll be on April 11th for next year. And the year after that, 1994, 
Easter will be on April 3rd. And... 1995, Easter will be on April 16th. So as you can see, um, you know, this year we have a very late Easter, and next year we're going to have a late Easter, and uh, the year after that, 1994, we'll have sort of like a middle Easter there, and in 1995, once again, we will have a late Easter, and it's all because of the moon uh, going through its different phases for every year, so that's the reason why Easter is always in a different part of the month of March or months of April. Hmm. Gee, now, if you're still confused, I don't blame you. And let's go back live. Okay, so so you can see that that's how I use uh, computer technology to calculate when Easter will be. Hey, Rupert, do you know want to know, you want to know when Easter will be? I you see I oh what do I care? I never get the Easter eggs anyway, so why should I know what day this the, 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 the Easter's on? Well, because it's your holiday. It's the rabbit's holiday. See, I have this. I use that program. Hey, look at that blank piece of paper. It looks like my last writing no, assignment I handed in. It's not blank at all. You see, I generate. I use the computer. Pro that computer program to generate these dates for Easter. Whoa! Uh, then I definitely didn't hand it in if there's something on it. Uh huh. Yes. So as you know, this year Easter will be on April 19th, 1992, and in the future it'll also be Whee! on April 11th, 1993, April 3rd, 1994. Uh. What's going on back there? Wow. What's going on back there? Oh, hey, uh... It's no, no shenanigans down there. No, okay. And, and you, you want to know when Ether will be here in, in the turn of the century? Wait April, till when? April 23rd, 2000. Ooh. I have to, you see, I've got this in calculator. We'll probably still be here doing this show. I have this in calculator all the way up to the year 2020. I'll probably 2020, have a bath by then. You know? And, and in the year 2001, which is a space odyssey, Easter will fall on April 15th. Tax day! <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Uh, so anyway, if, 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 you, if, you want a, if, you, if you want a copy of this uh, Easter printout of knowing when Easter will be for the next uh, 100 or so years, uh, send $200 to, to uh, Wabbit T. Wabbit. Yeah, we're going to take phone calls now. We're going to take a few of them anyway. Hello? Hello? Hello, line three. Hit the button there. That's a second. Can somebody... Hello, you there? Hello. Wrong one! No! Hello? Where is this? Turn on the outside speaker! Oh, no, we have a problem with the speaker here. Hey, you know, it doesn't work. Hang on a second. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. hi, Jonathan. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Listen, I'm glad you called. Are you going to be joining us for the Easter Parade this year? This is the Sunday. Maybe. Maybe? I might be. Okay, well, listen, uh, meet us at, if you are, uh, meet us Sunday morning at 10 o'clock at uh, Central Park West and 65th Street. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I'll be there with Luella like Snuggle Bunny. Huh? And I'd like to copy that thing till the year 2000. Oh, Yo, you want to know when Easter will be? Whatever. You want, you want the list of, you want this list of Easter? Yeah. Okay, I'll be sure, I'll be happy to send you a copy. Okay, sure. All right, so how you been lately? I haven't heard from you in a while. I know. Uh-huh. Lately, I've been calling in every live show. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, well we've been pretty busy here because, like I said, I'm getting ready for Easter. Got to paint all the eggs. Got to package all these bats. Got to package all these things like this. Oh. See? I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rupert looks a little strange today. Oh, that's not Rupert. That's, uh... Chuck. Jack. Jack Rabbit. Jack Rabbit. How do you like my ears? I had them pointed. They look like poinsettias. Ooh. Yeah. How pretty. <laughs> you look like a ghost rabbit, Jack Rabbit. Ghost Rabbit? Where? Where? I'm scared of ghosts! See, you scared him away. <laughs> Very timid creature, isn't he? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, ooh. Uh, okay, Jonathan, listen. Hey, what happened to Jack Rabbit? He looked like he saw a ghost. I think he did. Really? Where? Oh, my love, my darling, I hung I you. think he hurt. I think I scared him away. Oh, oh, it's the, it's the voice of a ghost. Ah! It's just Jonathan. Let's go. Oh, well, then I'm not scared. See, he's not scared Rupert, of you, Jonathan. You yes! Look, you look like you just seen a ghost. 
I think it's Rabbit all ghost? T Rabbit's a ghost. <laughs> You're a ghost? Woo! Well, You're not very scary for a ghost. Yeah. Wait, okay, God, you're more of a failure, ghost. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, John. Ooh! John, we've got a couple more calls here and a couple more things to go through. So listen, I'll I'll call you back later tonight, okay? Sure. Okay. Listen, you keep hopping at me. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, Luella. Yo, dude, how's it going? Well, we're hopping in here. We're all getting ready here. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah. By the way, since Luella's on the phone, quick, go to that picture. Quick, go. Somebody pull the camera down. What? Oh, that picture. That picture. The one in the lower right hand corner. Come on, get that picture here. There you go. There you go. Ah. What's going on around here? You're showing a picture? Of you. Uh, oh, there. There. Now you can hear me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. See? The picture of you says, yes! Oh, yeah! Wearing a t-shirt. I'm, I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy camper. Yeah. What a wonderful picture! <laughs> yeah. Um, um, well, uh, 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 listen, why, why, here, I'm going to read a little poem here, and then we're going to, uh... Have, go to a little promo and plug the Easter parade, okay? Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah now, I'm uh, listening. Yeah, okay, wait. First of all, um, go to the uh, uh, pan left on the camera. Pan, no. pan left? Left, left. Yeah, we got a poem for Easter, okay? It was a little tilted, oh well. Okay, this poem is called Bunny Magic by Shirley Sally. Okay? On Bunnyland on Easter Eve, all little bunnies meet and plan the work which they must do before the dawn they greet. They get into their work clothes and set about each deed. With laughter and excitement, they work at greatest speed. The bunnies dress, dressed in pink coats dip eggs in pails of dye, while bunnies wearing blue jeans weed baskets and stack them high. Bunnies gay in green smocks gather grass in bags of red, and jelly beans are made by those with yellow turbaned heads. <laughs> Easter cards are sorted by bunnies with orange shoes, and chocolate ducks and chicks are dipped by purple mittened crews. Woo! Then the baskets are filled with all the treats and tied with ribbons gay and loaded on the Easter Express to be sent along their way into the homes of boys and girls who, e who are waiting eagerly and reward the tired bunnies with thankful gaiety. That's our Easter poem. You know, are you, are you, does, that, does that describe you anyway? Uh, it doesn't say anything about rabbits who wear happy camper t-shirts uh, or red ribbons. Well, it's, it's a green t-shirt for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. But listen, if you hold on for a moment, because we're going to be right back after these messages, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Here Are we you go right? again. Yes. Uh, we'll be right back after these messages. Cue that. What? Is he in there? I don't know. I think he's having a Twinkie Boink. Hi kids, Rabbity Rabbit here. If you can't stay up late to meet the Easter Bunny when he comes to your house, come out to the New York Easter Parade this Sunday, April 19th, weather permitting, and meet me, Rabbity Rabbit, on Fifth Avenue. You might even see me in Central Park. We'll be starting off our Easter stroll at 10.30 in the morning at the Central Park Carousel. Then it's off to Fifth Avenue for pictures, hugs, autographs, and whatever else happens. We'll even be giving away free Rabbity Rabbit buttons while supply lasts. That's the Easter Parade this Sunday, April 19th, 1992. I'll be looking for you. A message from your Shriners Hospitals. You know, kids, the kitchen ain't a playground. There's a lot of danger hiding in here. That dangling cord can be a disaster. Especially if they grab hold and yank me. My cord should be up. Hey, you said it. Keep dangling cords out of reach. Delicious cookies can be a tempting treat. I should be over there. Keep goodies away from heat. So kids don't get more than a treat. There's a lot of things in here that can burn you. Oh, By itself, it's harmless, but filled with scalding hot water. I just wait for a child to grab my handle and... <laughs> Uh-oh, a really bad brain. So to stay out of hot water, keep those pot handles turned in. We can both do it. Let go. You let go. What would you do? Listen, you feed, I water. Okay. When two people want to do the same thing, one idea is divide the job and each do part of it. But tomorrow, you feed and I'll water. Deal. And that's a good way to share. Okay, Luella. How you like that, Luella? You looking, for, Luella? You looking for? Hello. Luella. Luella. I'm a ghost. 
Are you looking, right. looking forward to Easter, right? You do it, buddy. Right, yeah. make sure you bring the eggs with you and everything. What, what, what? Bring the eggs. Oh, yeah. And the basket and yep. everything else. Okay. What, else, what was I going to say again? Uh, there was something I was going to tell you and then I forget. Oh. Well, well, I'm pretty sure you'll remember after I hang up, okay? Yeah, we well, gotta I go. We got a couple more calls, too, okay? Gotta, gotta call, so I, yes, we gotta go pretty quick. Everyone. I'll, I'll talk to you later, Luella. Yeah, love you. Bye. Bye. Keep hopping happy. You too. Bye. Bye. One more call. Hello. Hello? Yes, hi. Who's this? Alicia. Alicia, how are you doing, Alicia? Alicia. Alicia. Are you getting ready for Easter, Alicia? Detria. De oh, Detria. Sorry. Are you getting ready for Easter? Yeah. Okay. Well, you, you, have a, you have your bonnet and everything? Uh-huh. And your pretty dress? Yeah. And your white patent shoes or whatever it is that you're wearing? Uh-huh. Hey, listen, come to Fifth Avenue this Saturday, this Sunday. I'll uh, try. After 11, you'll see me there, okay? I'll try. Okay. You Bye -bye. Take care. Bye. Okay, very quickly, we have a fan letter. We actually have a fan letter Whoa. from somebody at Chase Manhattan Bank. That doesn't and look like a fan. Owe, and I thought I was overpaid on was my like paper. Paper card. No, I got, I got a... Hey, let me read it very quickly. Um... Very quickly. I'll read it. Your account is overdrawn. No, it doesn't. You are going straight to jail. Do not collect two hundred dollars. No, this is this is from James Glenn, who's the auditorium coordinator at Chase Manhattan Bank. Thank Woo! you for your letter. I have been watching your show on Channel C in Manhattan. Have I enjoyed it immensely? I stay late after work every Monday, bankers hours, just to watch your program. I find it incredibly entertaining and original. I would appreciate information you can send me if possible. Please send me a publicity photo of Rabbity Rabbit and Cuppy. Ah! Fame! My she fame! The good the word. Fame is been really been me Thank you for very much for the letter. And years okay, and years. It's the, uh, my ah! What was that? I I'm blinded! Like that was your public I'm photo. Oh, it was my photographer! No, yeah, you didn't get my good we side! Got, Here's okay, my good we side! Gotta go. okay, ah, I gotta take a picture go. of that now. Listen, there kids! See me? Uh, come up and meet me in the Easter Parade this Sunday on 5th Avenue after 11 in the morning. We'll be in the Easter Parade. We'll see you next time. I'll be watching the video. happy, everybody. And don't forget to write Oh, that's beautiful. Where are we? We've what? been blacked out! Hello, are we on? Are we on? Oh, there we go. That's oh, excellent, beautiful. Where's the... What's with the wipe on that thing?